oasis of the seas. This is day number two, and it is a day at sea. It's a gorgeous day at sea. It really is. We couldn't ask for anything prettier. It's quite lovely. I love it. Let's get it started. Day number two. Question, did you wake up this morning forgetting where we were? And we're like, whoa, we're here in a loft. I didn't forget, but I was happy and excited. I woke up and I was like, ooh, yes, I forgot. And hooray! Now it's time, almost time for lunch. We're gonna go to Chelsea's favorite location. Of course, they haven't been it, to it on this ship. We went on Navigator, a local fresh, for lunch, which is not here. We're in the promenade because we're doing our drink fill up. Stop number one, time for some drinks. Yeah, then we're gonna go to a local fresh. You're going double drinks again. Got the freestyle cup filled up. Now hitting up the bionic bar. It's so, it's like, this is the life. And now, you ready? I missed it last night. We'll get it this time. You want to retrieve drink number six. So you tap the pass card and like Thor summoning Jonathan? No, that's a <laughs> funny joke. Paul Rudd. Um, you got your turn. Who said I? Who said I? Taco shell, chili beef, flour tortilla, chicken, beef, pork, Mexican rice, and Mexican beans. They do have a drink station here, of course. Salsa and toppings bar here at the salsa station. So we have pico de gallo, sour cream, cilantro, guacamole, cheese, lime, and lettuce. And a selection of what else? Hot sauce, of course. And the thing that I love most, look at these colorful chips, not just like the standard colors, green. And then I got a uh, chicken quesadilla and a chicken burrito. Some cheese and sour cream and lime and hot sauce from the toppings bar. You also got a bowl of chips and... I got a chicken quesadilla and I got a chicken taco and a pork taco and I got lots of cilantro and they recommended this hot sauce. It's like a verde. Oh, it is really, really good. Well, there you go. Also, this is like... This location is so much cooler than the one on Navigator. Yeah. It's bigger and it's like just an explosion of color, which obviously I like. Ooh, stopping back in the room really quick. Check this out. They told us yesterday when we checked in because we were staying in a Sky Class Suite that we had a one complimentary pressing each. So one outfit per person that they would complimentary press on the first night so they told us just to lay it out on the bed upstairs which we did last night they came through and picked it up during evening service and then they have returned it here and i did it chelsea didn't have anything but i did it because this shirt gets like ridiculously wrinkled you can see it still has some wrinkles in it and it was pressed but how cool so yeah you just put it out on the bed they take it the first night press it and then bring it back the next day making our way back out after we stopped in the room for a little rest <laughs> Where are we going right now? Down to the boardwalk. Ooh, okay. We'll be having some fun on the, the boardwalk. <laughs> there we have candy there. <laughs> also, what did you think of our El Loco Fresh lunch? It was good. And I don't want to start a fight or anything, but I like it better <laughs> than Blue Iguana. Yeah, and on um, Mardi Gras. We liked Blue Iguana. Oh, yeah. It was it was great, but I think a local fresh is a little too much better. better. I love that you can see these colored bulb lights even during the day because they're just awesome. Day or night, color should be found. You know what else is awesome? What's that? These posters that are like for carnival games because they look cool. But they're doubly fun because there's an augmented reality game in the Royal Caribbean app to do with these posters. So yeah, and your icons down here, if you swipe over, there'll be one that says games. Oh. 
Oh. It has like a carnival tint on it. So now pick your game. You have Splish Splash Soak, Duck Duck Bear, Go Go Gopher, and Ring Toss. I would pick Ring Toss. Okay, well let's try Ring Toss. So you click that, uh -huh. play game, and now it's gonna say, find okay. the poster. Oh! Point your camera at the poster to start the game. So we need to find the Ring Toss poster. I don't, I... Ah, there it is. Where? Oh! Here. Okay. Next to Zolta. Oh. And it has that same little icon there on the poster. Oh, here we oh go. Oh my god! Yeah, pick it up. Three, two, one. And ring toss. Your time is counting. Wait, wait, you must toss oh, your ring. Oh, I just flick my thumb. Flick your thumb. Flick Whoa. your thumb. Toss the rings. As Steve Miller Band serenades us, take the money and run. Ooh, take the ring and toss. Take the ring and toss. Woohoo! <laughs> See, they have four different games that you can play. I love that. That is like just the simplest, funnest thing ever. Yeah. Chelsea's floating on into Johnny Rockets. She's wanting ice cream. Some dessert, a sweet treat after that sodium filled lunch at a local fresh. Well, and we have an unlimited dining package and play, um, and Johnny Rockets and Playmakers is included in that. So Ooh. I'm going to take advantage and get a sweet treat. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, it looks delicious. That does look delicious. Dive right in. Now, because you're just getting ice cream, you're not doing burger or fries or any of that, mm -hmm. he actually, before he found out you have the package, he actually recommended you not eat here for just ice cream because it's a $9.95 cover charge. Right, he recommended going over to Sugar Beach and getting ice cream there. So it must be, the ice cream at Sugar Beach must be um, cheaper than having to pay like the $9 cover charge to eat here if you're just getting ice cream. So something to keep in mind, if you just want ice cream and you don't have a dining package like that, then head over to Sugar Beach instead. B E A beautiful. Oh, what also, are you talking about the way? The day and the weather and the wake is, <laughs> is uh, not too bad either. Hey, looking pretty cool in that thing, but just be careful. Why? This is a moose crossing? What? Moose? Meese on the high sea? Baby! Wanna ride the carousel? I do so much! And say hello to this little moose. This cup of gold coins? It's a boo! What animal are you going for? I think I'm gonna get the That's little the frog with a crown. It's a crown. There's a jaguar. That's definitely what I'm going for. Hello, hello, hello. welcome. Eat for a ride of your life. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, my jaguar got snagged. Aww. I'm gonna have to pick something different. Oh! Get come on! <laughs> we weren't seated. <laughs> I guess zebra it is. Okay. I'm on a pachyderm. <laughs> you are on a pachyderm. Just in case it wasn't clear, that's completely free. I thought you had to pay for that, but you yeah. don't. No charge. Just hop on the carousel. So you Smile. Can be, you can be a four-year-old child on the carousel, just like us. <laughs> Are you ready to sprinkle your day? I always cream. sprinkle my day. Well, that's true. That's true. But you are heading in to Sugar Beach for your candy. Oh, I love candy, so I'm just going to continue just being a child today. Unlike the carousel, the candy is not free. But That's okay. It's worth it to me. Worth it to you. So we're going in. Let's go in. Look at this right. right when we walk oh in. Sugar oh. Beach, little like ice cream chocolate oh. thing. Chocolate oh. caramel, oh. dip okay, bar, yeah. double chocolate dip bar, okay. chocolate chip ice cream sandwich, okay. single scoop gelato, uh, strawberry fruit oh bar, and a straw anna fruit bar? Good to know they are uh, retrieving the candy for you right now because of COVID protocols. Let's take a look around here. Let's give the tour. So first of all, 
they do have ice cream in here besides at the truck. So you can do uh, scoops here. You know, it's kind of hard to see with the glare. So you select your number of scoops. One scoop is three dollars. Two scoops is four fifty. Three scoops is five seventy-five. You select your flavors and your toppings, which are twenty-five cents. Or you can do a signature sundae for seven dollars and fifty cents. The chocolate blackout quadruple chocolate ice cream topped with brownies, chocolate drops, chocolate pearls, whipped cream, and drizzled with Nutella. The Sea You Later, which is sea salt caramel ice cream with shaved coconut, white chocolate drops, and whipped cream. Or the Cookie Crunch Split, which is cookies and cream ice cream, waffle and Oreo crumble, marble chocolate stick, and whipped cream and butterscotch. But if you're doing the scoops, look, they're like already scooped out and balled. That's pretty fun. So here are the different flavors. They have birthday cake ice cream, so very strawberry, mango, sea salt caramel, tiramisu, Tahitian vanilla, quadruple chocolate, cookie and more cookies and cream, raspberry sorbet, and triple chocolate. Now the raspberry sorbet is dairy free and the triple chocolate is no added sugar. See here they have the mini board up there. There's the waffle cones and here are the toppings. Waffle cone crumbles, broken Oreo cookies, chocolate drops, white chocolate drops, mini marshmallow, rainbow sprinkles, m &Ms, chocolate pearl, red cherries, chocolate stick, and they do have chocolate syrup as well. Now what they have for the candy, lots of great options. Just I'm gonna name them all here, but just some different things I see. Warheads, gumdrops, gummy filled turtles, the gummy sh uh, like strips, uh, gummy crispy crunchy bears, Tootsie Rolls, they have some yellow quackers, little ducks, Skittles, chocolate pretzel poppers. Oh, I'm gonna get just give me some of those. Sour Patch Kids, gummy cupcakes, gummy sharks, mm, watermelon slices, more gummy bears and belts. They have Mike and Ike's, sort of guppies, candy corn, jaw breakers, some typical stuff. And they also have like a Free, free package candy here. So endangered species chocolate bars, some pops, uh, lollipops, Pez dispensers, gummy bears, Toblerone, Good and Plenty, Kinder Joy, things like that. And they also have some stuffed animals here for purchase as well. Now there's another side. Do 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 do. Jill's already completed this side. Gummy pink Cadillacs. That's fun. Never seen that. M and M's, sun kissed orange jelly beans. So like different flavor jelly beans, runts. Uh, more gummy sharks. I know Chell's got some of those. Uh, gummy swirly fish. Lots of jelly beans up top. And then some things are starting to repeat. Like I see warheads again. And sour sharks. Flowers. Eggs. All the typical jazz. Typical candy. Sour candy. Jelly beans. Chocolate candy. Jolly ranchers. Spree. And then up here in the front they do have some more stuffed animals. Like pillow things. And then more pre-packaged. Candy. This is like a sushi tray. That's really fun. Ooh, fruit flavored gummies are shaped like band aids. That's gross. Ooh, Rugrats. Bob Ross. This is like a, the paint. We the, this was kind of big when we were kids in the nineties. Like a paint. What was it called? Like lollipop paint shop or something like that. But this one's not that. But it's kind of like that. And it's Bob Ross. Fifty years of candy. Oh my gosh, that looks so fun. Wow, I'm loving this. And Chelsea's the candy person. I'm loving it in here though. You've scored the goods. Oh my, I am happy pappy. I see warheads, Look, blue warheads. The taste of our childhood. Yeah. <laughs> Candy, I love you. <laughs> this size sack, this amount that I got was $15. A little steep, but. I mean, it's specialty though. And it's not any different than like a theme park or anything right. like that. So it's worth it to me. Now we're gonna continue to be children and go to animated cartoon music trivia. Animated movie trivia. Okay, yeah, yeah. animated movies, we know those. <laughs> Dance. One more time. Feel it in your heart. <laughs> For the first time in trivia yes. history, we are 1,000% so certain so we know it. all of these. 
I think we've got 100%. Number two. 100%. 14. Hooray. 15. Yippee. 16. Yeah. 17. Woo. We have a lot of winners. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Got a keychain. Oh, I dropped. Now we have one. Okay. And we got a bag from the what? next cruise desk. That's very nice. Oh, Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Came back to the room because it's going to be time to get changed for dinner soon, but. I, we're probably going to show this 10 million times during this playlist, but this view is just never, ever, ever going to get old. Wait, what is that down there? Could that be a Hoffman? What is he doing? Seriously, I have no idea what he's doing. Oh, he's going in the van. He's in the van. <laughs> It's time for dinner, yeah. It's time for dinner, yeah. Going to Central Park. Yes, it's time to stop acting like children. We have fancy <laughs> dinner night, wearing jeans. And golf shorts. But no, we're having, gonna have a beautiful dinner at Giovanni's, which is in Central Park. And we're gonna eat alfresca because we can. Show you what it looks like in here. It's a pretty intimate affair. I like the candlelight going on the frames right there. It's a huge venue. They do have the outdoor seating. And here's the people. This is so nice. It's quite lovely. Eating in Central Park with the open air is like top notch. Like eating inside should not be a choice. The outside <laughs> is too nice. Olive oil, balsamic vinegar, cheese. Is it to be sipped? It's coming. Oh. The bread's coming. It will be dipped. Bread's here. Ciabatta and Parmesan crostini. Ooh, but the sticks. The appetizer has arrived. It's the cured meat and cheese plate. Ooh. Fun tongs and a jar full of pickled vegetables. Oh. Let's look in here. Oh, it's chilled. Oh. Still Ooh. cold. Is that a pepperoncini? Kind of looks like it. Oh, yay. What's that thing? Oh, that's garlic. The, the roasted garlic. The clo yeah, now remember that? The bulb, we got that. I remember that last time. We uh, were like, what is this? And they're like, oh, it's garlic. Like, oh. Yeah, I like, I like the roasted garlic. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thoroughly enjoyed our bread and our meats and cheeses for our appetizers. Now we have entree and pasta coming up. Yeah, so we both got a meat and we both got a pasta. And I would 1,000 get the meat plank. Oh, I would. I would 1,000% <laughs> get the meat and cheese plank. There we go. So Entrees and pasta have arrived. Let's start with the pastas. Here, you know me, carbonara. It looks really tasty too. It does, I'm not going any other way. And? I got the gnocchi, which is like a cheese and a spinach gnocchi. Ooh. And it, it looks good, it looks super good. It does look good. You also have? I also got the filet, which comes with um, potatoes and like broccolini. Yeah, and then I also got the prawns here, which are also served, looks like on potatoes. And dessert has arrived. Ice cream, vanilla for me, chocolate and vanilla for you. Look, my ice cream looks like a heart. Oh, it does. Do you see? And what did you think of the meal? Oh, it was so good. Um, I think, I think my, if I'm gonna be like super nitpicky, which I don't even want to be, but just for transparency, um, my steak 
was probably like maybe a little bit more than medium, um, but it was still like super delicious and I barely even noticed it. It's really tender. Everything was really good. The gnocchi was heavy, but I mean, it's a pasta made out of potatoes, so what are you gonna expect? It's pretty dense and heavy, but yeah, it was yeah. good. But I, I really enjoyed everything. Carbonara was good, and uh, the not as good as Giovanni's on Independence, I will say that, but it was still good. And the prawns had a great grill flavor on them. Yeah, I've, I've definitely really enjoyed this dinner. This has been very, as you, as you can hear, very, very, Dinner was quite lovely. Yes. Now we head to the ice skating show, Frozen in Time. In Studio B. I don't think we're allowed to film this one, even though we could film the one on Adventure of the Seas. I think this one's different. So unfortunately, we won't be able to show you the show, but we'll show you Studio B. Oh. <laughs> There's a gator coming out of the sewer. Selling newspapers. About himself. Alligator found in the subway store. Yeah, he's right here. We found you. That's fun. <laughs> okay, sorry. Back on track. I can tell we haven't been on an Oasis class ship in a while because we're so used to Studio B being at the forward part of the ship. I know. Here it's kind of like in the middle. We're coming from the forward to enter. We so. get There's the ice and the curtain and the screen art. Apparently this is based on the fairy tales of Hans Christian Andersen. If you happen to see our Adventure of the Seas series from our sailing back in June, much the same way here, the first two rows are reserved completely. So you cannot sit in the front row and you cannot sit in the second row as to provide physical distancing between you and the performers as they will not be wearing masks. And this is a vaccinated only showing, so that means we can take our masks off in here um, because we're vaccinated, so we're allowed to come to this showing. So nice how it's being done. Always cool to, not cool, pun, always cool to sit front row for the ice skating show, really be up in the action, but honestly, unobstructed view in the third row is almost just as good. outside of Studio B. That was a great show. It was very good. Um, really, really good. So it was based off of like some, like a children's off, like classic. Hans like, Christian Andersen. Like fairy, fairy tales, tales, right? Okay, yeah. Some of them I did not know, but the ones that I did know were very obvious. Ugly Duckling, Little Mermaid. Yeah. Emperor's New Clothes, things like that. Um, the ducks were the highlight for me. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. And the, the king, was that the Emperor's New Clothes? Yeah. Okay, the king was hilarious. And I don't know if this is for every showing, but we had like a sand artist. That was cool. Like, Dude do, was making pictures like with sand. He had like a tray of sand and he made sand art and there was like a camera above and you saw it on the screen. It, it was amazing. Anakin Skywalker would not have been happy. What? Oh, because he hates sand because it's, it's coarse, coarse and, and rough, rough and it gets, gets everywhere. everywhere. And just like that, Oasis of the Seas, day number two, comes to a close. But what a fun day it was. If you're interested in sailing on Oasis of the Seas, or another one of Royal Caribbean's fine ships, we can help make that happen. It's our pleasure as travel agents, and our information is in the description of the video. So please feel free to reach out about that. It's completely free and complimentary to you, and you will not pay a single cent more to go through us than you would on your own. So we hope we'll hear from you soon, and we hope we will see you back tomorrow. Oasis of the Seas, day number three. Port Canaveral, kind of. But until then, we're signing off. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy, Happy travels! travels!